Hey everybody, Chris McGraw, Almost Adventurous here with yet another pair of Patagonia ski bibs. Um, <clears throat> just These are the uh, Snow Drifter bibs from Patagonia. Uh, just talked about the Powder Town. This is a next step up. Um, these ones are actually a three layer H2 No. I think I previously mentioned two and a half. But this is a three layer H2 No compared to the Powder Town's two layer H2NO. And man, does it, they just feel completely different. Um, let me just run through some of the features. Uh, you know, we got the gaiters at the bottom. We also have uh, an area where they can uh, clip in, like there's a little hook here to clip into your boots so that way they're not riding up on you. Uh, have this tear resistant fabric at the bottom, all stuff that's normal for a pair of ski pants, whether you're spending like 50 bucks on a pair of, you know, off brand, like tr I have a pair of uh, Trespass insulated ski pants um, that unfortunately I grew out of because I actually really liked them for how cheap they were. Um, same sort of features. Uh, pocket wise, so we have the two pockets right here. They are very generously sized, a lot bigger than the pockets on the Powder Town. Also, everything just feels better put together. Powder Town costs $2.99, these cost $3.79. I got them actually roughly for the same price uh, on sale. So to me, it's kind of a no-brainer. Between the two, I would definitely keep these if I hadn't found a pair of used ones. I always prefer to go used if I can, uh, especially the steel that I got on the used ones. I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, as far as zippers, we got zippers up both sides. So the Powder Town had a vent on the left side and then a zipper going all the way up. On the right, these will allow you to vent, but also open up completely to make it just a little bit easier to get in them. Um, I forgot how difficult it is to get in bibs if you haven't been in them in a while. Uh, I've been using just snow pants almost exclusively for for quite some time. Uh, and you know, bibs are just more restrictive because there's just more material, especially these bibs, these and the Powder Town, uh, compared to something like, like this. Uh, they go all the way up, like almost like a um, set of waders or something. It feels like fly fishing waders to me. Um, so just something to get used to again. I also have this pocket up here, which is good for a sandwich or whatever. Uh, the gray area up here is actually like a soft shell fabric. So you got the windproof, weatherproof down here, and then the area where you'll probably wearing it, be wearing a jacket over uh, up here is nice soft shell, breathable material. Um, these are more focused toward backcountry than maybe something like the Powder Town where that's more resort. Um, and so that's where like the larger vents are going to be helpful. Um, and just this soft shell fabric, I mean, soft shell breathes a lot better than uh, hard shell does. So you do just a little 360 here. You can uh, undo the flap if you got to go to the bathroom. That way you're not taking off, you know, your entire set of bibs here. Uh, 379 ultimately went uh, going to return these. Um, they're, they feel a little bit restrictive. It's kind of like tighter up top. And then for me, I'm five, seven, I have like a 29 inch inseam on a good day. These have like a 32, 32 and a half inch inseam. So they're just like really long on me, uh, which isn't going to be too big of an issue once you have skis and boots on, uh, it definitely is noticeable right now. It goes way past my feet, but, um, like I said, really, the reason that I'm going to be end up end up returning these is that I found this pair used, and it just suits my needs better. Talk about these in a little bit. Uh, but of the two, Powder Town and the Snow Drifter bibs, um, especially since they were the same price, originally these are eighty dollars more. I think that eighty dollars is an eighty dollars well spent if we're spending, um, you know, the full price for these. Uh, but when you're spending the same amount for either, uh, these are a no brainer for me. Um, for someone who does some res resort stuff and wants to get into um, backcountry, these are a little bit more future proof um, and just offer more of the features that I like. Plus the three layer, three layer H2NO just feels a lot, 
like higher quality than the two layer H2NO does. Um, they're the same color, so looks wise. I have a purple jacket. Uh, teal and purple is uh, pretty much my favorite color combo. So uh, they're the same there, but overall these ones won out. The Snowdrifter bibs won out over the Powder Town. No brainer for me.